the Rainforest Rangers invite you to learn about toucans and arasaris. <coughs> toucans and arasaris belong to a family of medium to large sized birds, which have brightly colored and contrasting black, white, red, yellow, green, and blue plumage. Different species will vary in the colorations of their bills and bodies. The chestnut manibild toucan have very large, deep bills colored black, red, and yellow. They have featherless, bright green skin around their eyes. Their wings are short and rounded, their tail usually long, and their legs strong with zygodactyl feet. Zygodactyl means that their feet have two toes pointing forward and two backwards. Toucans and arasaris are gregarious, inhabit forests, and nest in tree holes. All toucan species reside in the New World from mid-Central America to mid-South America. The habitat varies, but the birds generally reside in the lowland forest to open forest. While toucans and arasaris do not migrate, some species may move seasonally within their range. Fiery-billed arasaris travel in flocks of 6 to 15. Up to 6 birds will sleep together in the hole in a tree with all of their tail feathers folded over their back. They fly in straight lines and are a common sight in the southern zone of Costa Rica. Their distinct profile are most easily seen crossing between large trees on the edges of clearings in the canopy. Both the male and female arasari look alike and are 17 inches or 43 centimeters long. They have a block head and chest. The dark green on their back is separated by a line of deep chestnut. The yellow chest is spectacular with a band of scarlet and a black spot with some red coloring in the general area. The fiery billed arasari forages in the canopy for fruit, insects, and sometimes nestling chicks they may approach the ground for berries. Arasaris usually nest in an old woodpecker hole that is at least 20 feet or seven meters off the ground. They line their nest with seeds. The female lays two white eggs. Three or more adults tend to the nest. The chicks are blind and have no feathers at birth. While the babies leave the nest at six weeks, the parents will continue to feed them for several more weeks. Toucans are moderately gregarious and fly in straggling flocks. When perched in the same tree, they offer food to their companions and preen them with the tips of long bills. They prefer to remain high in trees where they hop from branch to branch. Considered as playful birds, toucans often engage in various games. The most prominent feature of toucans are their bills, which are much lighter in weight than they appear. These large, boldly colored bills give them a distinctively out-of-balance appearance. The toucan's large bills enable it to perch inside the crown of a tree where branches are thicker and reach far outwards to pluck berries or seeds from twigs too thin to bear their weight. The bill has serrated edges which help to tear off pieces of larger fruit. Seized in the bill's tip, the toucan throws its food back into the throat by an upward toss of the head. Their diet consists mainly of fruit, but includes insects, an occasional lizard, eggs, and nestlings of smaller birds. Toucans nest in holes and trees. The nest chamber is never lined, but the two to four white eggs rest upon a few chips at the bottom or upon a pebbly bed of regurgitated seeds of various sizes. Parents share incubation and are, for birds of their size, impatient sitters, rarely remaining at their task for more than an hour and often leaving their eggs uncovered. After about 16 days of incubation, 
the nestlings hatch blind and naked with no trace of down on their pink skins. Nestlings are fed by both parents with increasing quantities of fruit. The feathers of the small toucans do not begin to expand until they are nearly four weeks old. Parents will care for their young for about eight weeks, however young may fly from the nest when only 43 days old. Scientists haven't figured out why the bills of toucans are so big. Toucans are very noisy with a varied repertoire of harsh croaks, yelps, mews, rattles, and other sounds. Some of the larger species sing a series of almost musical calls at dawn and at dusk. Toucans live either solitary or with a mate. Thanks for joining the Rainforest Rangers today and learning about toucans and our saris.